guys, it's the captain here. Uh, and today I am joined by one of our industry's most wonderful characters. It's Michael here from T-Rex, founder of T-Rex, founder, senior executive, most tattooed employee and part-time drunk um, from, 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 from the amazing T-Rex. So cheers. Cheers. You know, I said I was the founder, but it's actually a lie. I'm it's a lie. Just, yeah, I'm just a salesperson and I'm doing, but it sounded good when I told I, I thought so, yeah, yeah it's yeah, good. Yeah. Don't sell seven miles, they're going to be pissed <laughs> at me, but yeah, yeah. Soon I will be the founder. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, well, you're like the founder of T-Rex, like I'm the founder of Anderton's. True. It's just all you need to know, basically. <laughs> it's all good. So what are we drinking? This is Gammeldansk. It's half Danish urine and lacrosse <laughs> and... No, it's, it's a good thing. You're going to love it. It's good for you. It says on the front of the bottle, Gameldansk, it says it's chili and licorice. A chili and licorice shock. Oh, shock. I can't, look at that, I've had one. Nice. I can't even speak properly anymore. <coughs> it is 32% proof, mm -hmm. and apparently the Danish king drinks a lot of it. Is that what this means? Conga Lig? That's yeah. why he dies. 10 litres a day. 10 litres a day. day. Yeah, Prince Henry. Have, have an original one. Oh, this is the original one. This is the real shit. This is, if you go fishing, That's 38% hunting, or, proof. Yeah. Can we open this or is this? Sure, go ahead. Okay, let's do this. Come on, let's do another one. You know, I brought this to Pete, Danish Pete, and there's a lot of rumors about this guy in Denmark. You know, he's got a huge talent. A huge but what? Talent. Oh, talent, yeah. You know, I was told that Peter was 10 feet tall, playing heavy metal, Kramer guitars, Floyd Rose, yeah. and, and, and all, yeah, yeah, a, a stack, all cracked to 10. Then I met him. And he was like four foot two, nine, two feet tall. Yeah, two tall. feet tall. He's yeah. like a leprechaun. Playing a f jazz guitar, and, and I was just kidding me, aren't you? Yeah, but he seems nice though. He's all right. Yeah, he's, he's all right. right. He's all right. Anyway, cheers. He's good looking. He is very good he's looking. So handsome. Yeah. Cheers. What are you saying, uh, Danish for cheers? Yeah, cheers. Skål. Skål. You know why? Why? Back in the days when the Vikings went over here by yeah. boat and raped and burned <laughs> everything, then they took the skull. Oh, the skull. And beer into it. And oh, skull. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how. That's great. Yeah, cool. I'm fairly sure that the uh, English origins of saying cheers are slightly less bloodthirsty <laughs> and probably more friendly. Um, but you know. I hope so. Let's hope cheers, Lee. Cheers. We skull. Love you. Yes, yes skull. we love you too. Skull. skull. Holy Moses. <laughs> Let's go fishing. <laughs> that's Let's quite go. a bit more spicy than that one. Let's go hunting, huh? I don't really do. I don't really do hunting. Oh, so come on, look. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're gonna get the uh, amazing two foot tall Danish Pete jazz guitar expertise in soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah To yeah. to play some pedals. Yeah. But tell me a little bit about you know what is the what is the the, the five minute history of T Rex and why are they so good? You know, Lars and Sebastian, the, the founders of T Rex, they started they started a company twenty years ago, mm -hmm. and they it's actually everything is vintage based good sounding products, Scandinavian, it looks good, it sounds good, and and it's it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it, it looks like a, a bag of M&Ms when you, when you open it, blue colors, red colors, and, and everything, and it's just, it works. It's, it's a tool for every guitarist around. And your, I mean, I remember T-Rex coming along as, um, I think most guitar players who are of sort of our age will remember, you know, Boss and maybe Electro Harmonics as That's kind true. of an MXR, I guess, as kind of the the pedals that we grew up with. But T Rex were the first, or one of the first guys that kind of offered that kind of next level up thing. Didn't it they? was a boutique. It is a boutique pedal, but the very first T Rex pedals were made in a T Rex headquarter in Baile, and uh, we made the Alberta and the Martania and. and I was blown away. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounded like something I haven't I haven't heard before. Yeah. And then they made the replica, and then Santana and John Mayer bought it actually, yeah. and and then things happened. I thought it was Dave Gilmore was the, he the guy. He was a user too. He had to pay for it though. Oh really? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, it's interesting because the um, obviously the world is full of boutique pedals now. In fact, there there are probably there must be a hundred or more brands just available from Anderton's and I think if you just go worldwide there's probably 500 brands available. So how, how do T-Rex try and stand out from the, the crowd? You know it's it's a jungle with all the pedals you can get a thousand tube screamers and, and everything is the same. So now we, we made the replicator after, after one and a half year of, of working hard mm -hmm. and that is something different mm -hmm. and we're gonna go that direction we're gonna go back to making custom shop yeah. pedals 
And I think, I mean, now people can afford them again, and and people are willing are willing to spend more money buying good stuff. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think the, the average guy, well, I say the average guy, it's pretty common now for somebody to be, you know, gigging with an amp that was 1,500 pounds and a guitar that was 1,500 pounds. Maybe they've got three or four guitars that are that kind of money. So why wouldn't you spend, you know, why wouldn't you be spending 100, 200 pounds, you know, every time you go and buy a pedal? That's it just true. makes sense. I mean, T-Rex make pedals, but they make power supplies, the fuel tanks as well, yeah. uh, tone trunks, bags and, and, and cases and... So we have we have like four legs in T-Rex yeah. now with the custom department. So so I think we're doing good. You are doing good. Thanks. And you're, and you're Danish. I'm you know. Danish big time. Big it's, time. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, <laughs> okay, look, well, look, uh, the wonderful uh, Danish Pete is going to come in and do some playing here with Michael uh, for no reason other than they're both much better guitarists than I am. So I will clear away the uh, the booze. Oh, please do. Um, go and drink myself into a stupor in the kitchen whilst these two do some some uh, some playing. I would very much like them to to do the entire demo in Danish for no other reason other than their words are so much better than ours. Anyway, right, <laughs> I'm off. Thank it's you. a pleasure to meet you. What a you. pleasure to meet you, man. You too. Take it easy. You too. Stay tuned. Thanks. Well, that kind of thing was saying what I got to say, man. Hit the first. Hit the only couple of days in the Lord. Let's believe it. Gas generator. Holy. Fifa Parker. Fifa Parker. Fifa Parker. Fifa Parker. Fifa Parker. Where are you going, Anders? Take it fast. Also, we have a little old dance jam. This baby, then she has to go. Ain't two. Sonnen jam. Can it be a hit? Hey man! Hey! Good to see yeah, you! Good to see oh, you! Yeah, good I'm to see doing you. great! I'm so, doing great! Yeah, and you've had a couple of these? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just met So this me. this is what we basically had for bre we have for breakfast in Denmark on the weekends. It's good. It's and good. and for lunch and it makes uh, you strong. It's it good makes for, you strong. Yeah, it's good for everything. Good for guitar playing yeah. anyway. So we are looking at some pedals. Yeah, I yeah. just met Lee. Yeah. I think he, he's drunk and sick now, so he went home. <laughs> he went home now. Yeah, well, I think he took one of the bottles. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully. He'll be he back on. Great. <laughs> That's cool. So, you know I'm a big fan of T-Rex pedals. I have been for a long time. I've got them and uh, I like them very much. Mm -hmm. I use them, which is, uh, you know, which when, when you use something, that means you like it. Yeah. And that's a, you know, that's a testament to the product, I guess. Isn't it? Uh, I feel blessed. I mean, so uh, you're you're playing T-Rex. You've been doing that for I've been doing years, e e eons. And you ages. actually had the Mud Honey Four in production. Yeah, yeah. That's the fourth serial number four. Yeah, I yeah, had. Yeah. Which, that's your uh, sound. That's you in a box. That's it. Yeah. That's, so yeah. you know, and it, it gives you that. You know, one one that I I can't get off my board is the Muller, as you know. It's just, and and the Mud Honey as well. It just. It's just the sound that I that fits in with, with how I play, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, this is the the new line of the new line. pedals. Yeah, you know the classic boxes. Yeah, they were bigger. Yeah, but all of a sudden, all people wanted more pedals on the board, and we had to. Yeah, make them smaller. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you did, and you know what I really like about these pedals is one thing that I really like mm -hmm. is that you have got your jack sockets on the top. Yeah, because you can put them very close together on a pedal board. That's true. That's just it's not you know there's nothing to do with sound or anything. That's just the design and the thing you think that's really cool. It really works. That's yeah, what we need. To, to yeah, thanks to and Sebastian to keep up with that. Yeah, idea. yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's so good. great. So what have we got? We got the Diva Drive. Diva Drive. You said you just you you like the Muller yeah. pedal. Yeah. The Diva Drive 
is in the same family. Yeah. And 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 what I like about it, I, you know, you can get a thousand tube screamers out there, but the Diva Drive, the whole gain section is based on on the vintage. Yeah. Drive. Yeah. But it doesn't get that nasal. I mean, it, yeah. What, what comes in comes out. Yeah. And it's less com compressed as well. So yeah. so it's it's singing. Is that magic word transparent? I've heard that yeah. before. I've read about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, this is a very simple pill. Yeah. What is cool about it is you got your mixing up here. Yeah. So you can you can mix your original sound and the gain. Yeah. And I think that's a cool feature because very cool. it doesn't get too muddy. Yeah. So it's almost like having two amps. You have a clean amp and you have your, your drive amp. Yeah. So it, it just gives it more balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the gain, I mean, it's it's not too gainish. Uh, it's it's gainish, not Danish. No, not gainish. Hang on. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. It's it's it doesn't get too much. It's, okay. It's a good drive. Yeah. You can use it for for bluesy stuff, for rock stuff, yeah. for for country stuff as well. So, yeah. So it's very versatile, simple pedal. Yeah. Well, let's let's having have a listen to it now. You know a little bit about it. So also, I'm just gonna let you know on the side here. You got the voicing switch, haven't you? You so so uh, the voicing switch. You've got three settings. You've got normal, mid, and fat. Yeah, it's it's like a bass boost, like having your first and second gear. If you're yeah. depending on on your guitar, on the yeah. pickups, on the amp, as well as you yeah. playing a Telecaster, you want more bottom to it. Yeah. So so you can use that as a if you've got single coil humbuckers or whatever, and you set them there. So we are running two Morgan PR12 amps here, which I absolutely love. These amps, they are just gorgeous. You know, clean exactly. tones is great, and um, this is your clean tone here. And there's no reverb because we've turned the reverb up, off here, no. So we're going to use the Cremo when we get to that. So anyway, let's set everything at 12. Mm -hmm. It's a good start. Tw 12 is a good start. God, this uh, Garmin dance gets a uh, whoo getting to me there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. In, the, in normal voicing mode. So let's put it, put it on. So the, so the mix knob you were talking about. Yeah. Turn that all the way to the left, and you get the clean sound. Your... You might want to level match that level yeah. a little bit. So there you, that's that's basically your clean signal. Then you mix in your drive. You know what I like about it as well is that when you play softly, when you attack it, mm -hmm. it's more dry, isn't it? And it reacts on the spot. Exactly. Know, it does yeah. get muddy and, and... Exactly. So I'll just gain up a little bit. Sounds good to me. Exactly. Ah. And I still haven't done anything to the tone, I haven't done anything to the voicing in, in, on the side here. Um, and you can do that rock and roll thing, can't you? Just, just go here. Right, fat switch, mid voicing switch. Can you feel the bars coming when you I can, yeah, yeah when yeah, you yeah, put yeah. so that was the yeah, mid, yeah. so let's go on fat. So what what else are that? Oh, there was a quick run through with me just playing. Do you want to have a little play in or no, it's all no, good. Yeah, I can't compete with that. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> yes, you can some, man. Um I think it's just a great, as you say, it's kind of a natural kind of drive that you add to the amp, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't that, color your, your your original tone too much. And exactly. That, that I like. 
Exactly. Yeah. Just boost it all, gain all the way up. So you can gain all the way up and then just a little bit of, mix it in a little bit. And now I just want to add this cream. I know we haven't talked about this yet, That's but the true. cream is a reverb pedal. Uh, I'm just gonna. It's got three modes: spring, broom, and hall. I'm just, now it's just set on a spring. I'm just gonna add it in. That, that is, sounds <laughs> warm and natural. Exactly. Let's just, let's go over to this one yeah. really quickly. So the creamer. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. It's a simple pedal. You yeah. Have three modes in one pedal. Yeah. And, and it's it's very Fenderish. Yeah. I, I tried to A B test between a Fender reverb and yeah. And, and it's it's very close. It's, yeah. It's yeah. lovely. It, it really feels is. right. It's it's not too trapplish. Yeah. And depending on what what I am a guitar you play, you can always dial. Down the tone if if you want a darker sounding. Yeah. But basically it's it's simplicity again. Yeah. It sounds good. Not too many options and, and stuff like that. Don't so confuse people with options, man. Option true. paralysis. It's just it's too. Uh, you know that's what happens, isn't it? It is. And there's too much to going Absolutely. on to going on, and then people get confused with it. And it's 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 mono. It's not stereo or anything. This is mono. So yeah, and this is and mono. which is like you would say that would be a reverb in your amp would be like a mono. Exactly. Anyway, exactly. Yeah. Who uses some some does, of course. Yeah. But, but. So anyway, let's let's. I'm just gonna play clean. Sure. With the different modes, so let's set it at twelve and see. So. <laughs> no, but it, it, it feels I right, mean, it sounds right. It just uh, sounds yeah. good, you know, this is without this is without it on, so I'll just play that little section. You see that it's just and you add that? Go to room. That's almost like a, a kind of a... That sort of room thing. Exactly. It's just great, isn't it? So you've got three modes. Yeah. Whole spring and a whole spring and room. Yeah, yeah. And what's the sort of, what's the difference in the three? Depending on the, the, the venue, the room, the yeah. bar you're playing in. A lot of people use the hall for, for acoustic guitars as well. Okay. So this works excellent with acoustic guitar. Yeah. And the room is more like a, a studio, yeah. studio sound. Yeah. And the spring is, I think about Fender. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fender Fender. So, but that, yeah. that's, that, you know, I, as most people probably know, I'm a big fan of, of a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe and the mm. spring. Because it's just how, or the F Fender Princeton, which th these Morgan amps is a Fender Princeton amp basically. Uh -huh. That's the circuitry inside. And I just like that pure, clean tone I can build, you know, I could put my overdrive on top of that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But yeah. if you don't, if you are plugging into an amp where you don't have a reverb, this is just a great, great, great pedal. It's nice and, and it's, it's very, exactly. Yeah, it's very yeah. affordable as well. Yeah. Links will be below, by the way, in the, in the description. So let's just have some of this haul, see what it does. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. But yeah, um, <laughs> lovely. Nothing, nothing bad to say. Thanks, mate. Creamer, Thanks, mate. lovely. Thanks, mate. And what's next then? The quint machine. Quint. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, rule number one. Hi, John. Hi, it's John Mayer. If I can play on Saturday, <laughs> let me check my schedule. I, I'm sitting in an interview with, with uh, Danish Pete right now, so I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks, buddy. Bye, bye. <laughs> Mayor. Oh, he keeps calling, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he keeps calling me as well. It's just constant, you know. He rings every. He rings just. He rings the most awkward time. You know what I mean? He just keeps ringing. I'm sorry. Keep ringing. Sorry, we're back on track. All right, yeah. Let's yeah. let's John Mayer can wait. Yeah, we'll he call can. him back. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The Quint machine. Quint machine. We made the Octavius. Yeah, which yeah. I like. Yeah, it's yeah. great pedal. You have an octave up. One, yeah. One down. Yeah. And then we added the fifth to yeah. this one. Yeah. And it just. The fifth is natural in any chord, so it just it's good for you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you play you play B five or or, or sharp five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And the cool thing about it is it tracks on the spot. I mean yeah. no no uh, it doesn't get delayed when yeah, you no play yeah. so so that's a, a cool feature. Yeah. And and it, it it's it's a good machine. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. So let's have a listen to this quint and see what it does. So Again, you got the mix button, which is great. So the mix button, I assume you you have your clean signal. It's uh, mix in the. That goes for all four pedals. Actually, you maintain you have your original signal. Yeah. And you have the, your your effect. Yeah. And and that kind of makes the the, the overall sound fairer. Yeah. Because you got both going on at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Which 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 I I love that feature that you can mix in your you know so you actually still hear the the signal of the guitar. True. It's great. True. So. Everything turned down, pedal sound like this. So that's just your clean signal. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the uh, octave down because I like yeah. this. Mix on 12. I think this would be great with it if you have like a, a looper pedal or something, and you loop. You know what I mean? You loop your absolutely, <laughs> you yeah. Use it as a bass thing or whatever. Jam all night. You can. Yeah. You can feel it tracks right on. It's tr that, it tracks. It tracks. Them. Yeah. I don't know if you can see when I pick the strings, but. Yeah. Yeah. This is octave up. You're gonna start playing fusion. Even now. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Even the even the chords it tracks, <laughs> isn't it? Interesting. That's it's very, it's, it's very, yeah, that's a good church. It's very, very cool, isn't it? Triplets, yeah. Sorry wow. about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> Don't let it happen again, please. <laughs> so, so you got one fifth. Is that a plus? That's up. Isn't That's it? A, a, a fifth up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if I do that.
Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Nothing wrong with that, is and it? It's just a great p- thing. Thanks. It works yeah. perfect for bass as well. Yeah. Oh, really? So okay. You can really make some funky stuff out of that. So I can yeah. imagine. Brilliant. Well, you know, there's nothing much else to say about that. You should try it out. You know, it's brilliant, brilliant. And yeah, it tracks it, chords and everything. It feels feels right when I'm playing it. It feels like it's actually it's tracking it really well and there's no lack and all that stuff, which is really important when you when you have, especially when you have three. You know, it's a low and a high, and then in the middle as well. Yeah, you know, in a yeah, fifth, yeah, yeah. It fans um, up everything. Exactly. I mean, you're not gonna use that in every song, but <laughs> well, maybe some people might <laughs> might do. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's a great. Good. Great it's, I want to hear it with that now. Sure. Just give me a second. I like it. I like right. it. That's very cool. Right. So, uh, moving on to the replay box. Yeah. And the eagle eyes, uh, sharp people out there, has noticed that it's the same size, but it's turned the other way around. It is. It is. And that is because I assume it's a stereo delay. I'm so that? happy you ask. It's stereo <laughs> in, stereo in, and stereo out. Stereo in as well. It is. So Fantastic. This is actually the first stereo delay. From T-Rex. You okay. Know, you know, we made the replica back then. And yeah. Everybody loved the replica. It was dark and and brown sounding. Yeah. But we had a lot of 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 guitarists asking, "Can you make something that is a little more modern sounding?" Somehow? Yeah. So we came up with the replay box. It, it's it's more modern sounding, but it's not like hi-fi in any way. Yeah. It's still rounded off. Yeah. Nicely and smoothly. And yeah. And then you got tap tempo, you got subdivision, and yeah, so and it goes up to three seconds of delay. So you can actually get seconds. a note, go and get a beer, and get back and do in the song. That's, that's, a, that's a cool feature too. It's a very Danish thing. <laughs> you need that in Denmark. That's a, it's a Danish Absolutely. thing or a gamble dance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so you've got what do you got here? You got volume you signal got, for the for the overall volume of the pedal. Volume. And mix. Got mix. Yeah, which again mixes the clean signal with the with the. Uh, with a signal of the delay, and then repeats, and the tempo, yeah. which is also tappable. It is, it idea. is, absolutely. And three modes. Yeah, you got your quarter notes, yeah. and, you, and you got triplets, yeah. and then you got dotted eights. Dotted that's eights. That's where the fun starts, if you ask me. Yeah. And, you know, no, the edge, you too soundish. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually had a little go earlier on this, so we set, sort of set it like this, and then what I was thinking was, was kind of this. Brilliant. Anyway, you know what I mean. Brilliant. That's kind of yeah, that's yeah, kind of yeah, 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 a yeah. little bit like uh, like the wall or whatever. Um, but you can hear the delay. The delay is more in your face. Yeah. But it's not trapplish. Exactly. And I love that it's rounded off somehow. Yeah, it uh, does. Uh, yeah. Let's just put it on here and then s- s- just have a listen to a quick sort of. Yeah, it's st- it's still kind of an analogy kind of uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A sound, isn't it? So. It's a really nice delay. We have hooked it up, so so we are running two of these amps, so it's left and right out into these two amps. So hopefully you'll hear the yeah. <laughs> the left yeah. and right signal. So um, and again, it's simplicity. I mean, yeah, it's, it's and, not you, that and you're saying to. you're saying three three, three seconds. seconds. Yeah, at the most from zero <laughs> to three seconds. So we see if we can do three seconds. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the brain inside this yeah. little filler is huge. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. And even at three seconds, yeah. you don't hear it getting mushy or anything. No, no, no. It's, it's still crystal clear. So yeah. yeah. And what's the quickest it does? Let's have a listen.
think it's nice, you know. And I've got one of these and I really like it. It's great, you know. I've got nothing bad to say about any of these pedals. That's me. I really, <laughs> I really like them. I really like them. I think you can do some really good stuff. Um, so, so there you are. That's the uh, that's these four pedals. Of course, there's more. There's more. You've got yeah, more in, in in you know the compact. Let me just quickly get. That's the replica. Yeah. Which is uh, it's mine because there's Velcro on the back. So <laughs> that's kind of the size difference. If you are looking up on that camera up here. So it's kind of a, it's almost kind of double, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it is. Um, so I, as you say, a lot of people are looking for these compact pedals, and pedals get smaller and smaller all mm -hmm. the time. Um, but you know, these are great, and it's brown. It is. I love it. And it's still available. And I it's mean, still available. Yeah, yeah we've, they, these are available in Anderson's at the moment, and links will be below to all the T-Rex. But tell me, so these are the four. Mm -hmm. What else have you got of these compact? You know, size? the T-Rex drive is. is the first gear, and then you've got the vulture. Yeah, it's more a distortion. Thing. Yeah, it, it's in the family with the mud honey. That's yeah. a classic pedal as well. Yeah, and then we have the nitrous. That is yeah. for heavy metal, big yeah. time, <laughs> big time. Fire, fire music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we've got a simple boost, the calm boost, just one up. Yeah. Um, we have the new comp, a compressor yeah. Yeah. that is based on on a studio compressor. Yeah, and it really. Reacts which, good. which, if you watch some of the sound like videos, they've they've used uh, the Mod Honey two, and they used the Nitro. Uh, so not Nitro, they used the, the Neo comp compressor as well, which they were really, really excited about the guys. So that's Bless one you. to go and go and check out as well. Um, well, that the links will be below in the description. And uh, Michael, thank you very much for coming. My and pleasure. I think what we my need pleasure. to do, what we need to do, oh my to end, oh, is we just Moses. need to uh, do one of these. I still got this. You still got one. Okay, I'll yeah, have another yeah, one then. And, um, and Are you then, serious? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Thank for you very much me. for thank coming. Thank you so much. And man. thank you very much for watching Anderson's TV. My name is Pete, and this is Michael. And um, we'll see you next time. Real Cheers. pleasure. School. School. The school of mm -hmm. all winter, all them some kenna, all them some make a kenna, them school of email. Go to school, Lena is in his house. Woo!